What kit are you running here? So we've got the grid-free batch kit. So four panels on the roof, four gel batteries in the shed here. One little tweak we made was upgrade the inverter and that just gives us the ability to have the generator option, upgrade to lithium batteries down the line and also add you know, additional panels on. So a little bit more upfront, but it was something that we thought was would add a lot of value to to the pack for future proofing of the cabin. One thing we've done too is after chatting with the grid free team is figuring out how to mount the panels on the roof. We've ended up laying them flat essentially. The cabin faces west and north that way so it's sort of the sun loops around so uh, laying them flat is essentially is the best way that we've decided to give us um, as much sun visibility as we possibly can and so far we haven't had any problems so it's been yeah it's been awesome. And how do the guests find the solo? No, nah, brilliant. So that was one thing that I did have as a, as a concern being on the west coast, high rainfall, high cloud, will the solar work in this environment? Brid Free said yes. I still had my nerves, but they're 100% right. So it works really well. Um, we've never had a failure. And I think the thing that probably really surprised me the most about the solar is even when it's overcast or cloudy, they're still charging the panels are still doing their bit they're trickling to the battery and that keeps the always on things running like the fridge and the toilet fan so now nah, it's brilliant it worked really well and, the, and no guest complaint so that's a thumbs up you know <laughs>